Good morning, this is Mrs. Heisenmuddle, and as you can see, this is my test bed programming for the very first trial. You'll notice I have my Project Lead the Way template open. I have typed in the title of the project, which is the VEX Test Bed Programming Task 1. Uh, I made up a random name there. The date section would be the class number you are in. Task description. Turn on the right motor for five seconds at half speed, then turn it off. Pseudocode. I'm actually going to take out an empty space there because I'd like to have less empty space. Pseudocode. Uh, motor's on at 63, which is half speed. Wait five seconds, motor off. That's all I have. So now I'm going to show you how to actually do that. So as you can see over here, natural language is over here in the function library. If you open up all of these little pluses, you'll be able to see all of the function library options. So the first one we want is a start motor. So I'm going to pull and drag start motor. I'm not going to do anything with it quite yet. I'm going to wait. So now I need to wait because I have to wait five seconds. So I'm just going to drag a regular old wait time and then I'm going to go back and grab a stop motor and drag and drop. Now, I'm getting rid of the empty white spaces. Why? Because I want to. So I have this all set up. I'm going to go up to the motors and sensor setups and I'm going to make sure that I have the standard module selected which is the GTT test bed because that's what we just built. I'm going to hit apply and OK and notice up here it says hey we set that all up for you. If you were to actually go in and look you can see it named all my motors for me, named all my sensors, and named all my analog and my digital sensors for me and put in my VEX um, LED into spot 12. So all of that is done. We're going to hit OK. Now we need to go in here where it says motor port. I have to tell it what the name of the motor is. Well, when you named your motor, you'll notice up here, motors and sensor setups are motors, and we actually have 269 motors, so I'm actually going to change their original setup to 269. You notice it's right motor is capitalized, and it's all one word. So there's right motor and left motor, and I'm going to hit apply and OK. And notice now, because I changed that one section to 269, it just listed everything, which is perfectly fine. So I'm going to look up here. I'm going to see that what I want is my right motor, so I'm going to name it right motor, R-I-G-H-T, capital M-O-T-O-R. Speed, 63, because that's half speed. Wait time was how long? That's right, five seconds. I'm not going to put SEC after it for seconds. I just type in the number. Then I want to stop. Which motor? The right motor. Okay? So once I've got all that done, then I should be able to save my program. I've renamed it as Testbed Program 1 because this is my first try at programming. I'm going to save it. And now I can go up here. I'm going to make sure that this is automatically set. And there it goes, it's setting up, it's all up to date. So now I'm going to go to the robot compile and download program. Compiled, it downloaded, and now I'm going to go ahead and start